So, you're trying to install Essentials 1.21.4, the easy way for Minecraft. That's exactly what I'm going to teach you on this video. Let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Now, the first thing we have to do before installing Essentials is make sure that our computer is compatible to install Essentials. And for that, we need Java 21. This is not optional, guys. This is a requirement to any Minecraft after Minecraft 1.20.5 will now require you to have Java 21 when installing mods. And of course, Essentials is a mod. So you are going to need Java 21 as well as your friend if they want to play Essentials with you. It's not optional. And if you're having any crashes while trying to use Essentials, that is because you need Java 21. How do you know what Java do you have? Because you might have it already. You could just head over to search bar down here, type out a remote programs, open that up. And then over here, just look for Java, type Java on search apps and look at the Java that you have. Some of you might have development kit 21. That means that you're good. But if you don't have that one, just get rid of whatever Java you have in here, uninstall it. And if you don't have any Java at all, well, you're good for now. Then you're going to head over to the link in the description that says Java 21. You're going to scroll down in here. You're going to hit Java 21. And then over here, you're going to select JDK 21 Windows x64 installer download that java 21 and then simply open the installer hit next a couple of times and you have java 21 install i cannot emphasize this enough you need java 21 to essentials to work anyways after you install java 21 it's time to begin with the tutorial and the first step is to click the second link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install essentials obviously you don't want to read through this guide that's why you're watching this video so i'm going to make it easy for you once over here scroll down to step one and then click download over here, we're going to hit download one more time to download the Essentials installer, which by default is going to have Fabric in it. If you're trying to download the Forge for Essentials, you could just scroll down and download the Forge version. However, the latest update that we have for Forge is 1.20.4. That's a whole like a lot of versions behind. For Fabric, we do have the 1.21.4, so you could download the Fabric version manually and then add it to your Fabric Mods folder if you already have Fabric installed and that's it, you're good. But I'm assuming most of you don't have any of those mod loaders and you want to install Essentials to play with friends. Well, go ahead and come over here, hit download, and then the download for the Essential installer will begin. Now we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that file into our desktop. Now make sure that you have played Minecraft 1.21.4 vanilla at least once on your computer, that you just open the game and then close it at least once. And then make sure you close the Minecraft launcher as well. We need the game as well as the launcher closed. Now we could just double click on the installer that is going to open the essential installer right away. Go ahead and give it a couple seconds. And here we go through the installer, install the best way to play Minecraft, hit get it started over here, then select which launcher you're using to play Minecraft with. In my case, it's just the Minecraft launcher. And now over here, we're going to have the option to select one of our instances that we already have in our computer to add the Essentials mod to. So for example, if you already have a Fabric instance in your computer that has a, lo a lot of mods and you don't want to install Essential separate from that, then you could just select that instance over here and then install Essentials into that folder. Okay, that's if you already have a Fabric instance. However, if you have Forge, it won't work with 1.21.4. In this video, we're going to assume that you don't have any of them and we're just going to hit new installation. Then we're going to name this whatever we want. I'm going to leave it as default 1.21.4. And then on the Minecraft version, obviously we want the 1.21.4. The mod loader, we are locked into Fabric right now. We can't select Forge because it doesn't support it just yet. And then we're gonna hit create and install essential and we're gonna wait for that to install. Now guys, hear me out. I know that you're trying to play Minecraft with friends using essentials which is the mod that every single one of your friends has to download in order to join you but this is only going to work while your computer is on and while you're playing on your world if you close your world your friends won't be able to join you plus since you're gonna be hosting this on your own computer you're only gonna be able to have your friends join you because if you have a strangers join you they can mess with your computer connection with your internet connection by getting your IP address and booting you offline but if you want to prevent all of that keeping your computer on and giving your IP address to have people join you, then just let the professionals create a server for you. If you click on the first link in the description, you get 25% off with Apex Hosting. Apex Hosting will create a server for you, Java, Bedrock, whatever you want. You could actually add over 200 mod packs with just a click of a button and they have locations all around the world. So there's no excuse for lagging. And of course this server will be online so you don't have to be with your computer on and your world open for your friends to join. Of course, you will have remote access to your server console. That means that you could go onto your phone and change the settings of the server, kick people out, change the settings of the weather, whatever you wanna do, you could do so through your phone as well with Apex Hosting. I'm gonna leave that first link in the description and I truly think that this is the best way to create a Minecraft server. Not just because they sponsor the channel, because if you all watch my videos, you know that I have always given them a shout out even before they sponsor the channel. Now let's keep going with the tutorial. And as we can see, Essentials just install. 
I'm not going to head over to the disk or anything. I'm not going to reinstall it. I'm just going to close the installer. And now we could even delete the installer from our desktop because we're done installing essentials. Now to play essentials, simply open your Minecraft launcher. And as long as you followed everything to this moment, you will see Minecraft essentials 1.21.4 selected here automatically. And pretty much that's it. If you don't see essentials over here though, you can head over to installations and make sure you select modded. Then you should see essentials selected over here. If essentials still doesn't show up, once you click on modded, you could click on new installation, look for fabric because now you do have a fabric release installed on your computer, select the newest one and then go back into that website from the beginning and download essentials manually. Like I told you at the beginning of the video, don't, now, don't download the installer, just download the fabric version 1.21.4 and then you will add it into the mods folder over here, which is a little bit more complicated and we have videos on how to do so. Just go ahead and watch one of those videos, but this is really the best and easy way to install essentials. Now we're going to go ahead and hit play. You might get this prompt over here. If you don't know what this is, just click where it says read more about player safety features, click that you understand the risk after that and then i'm gonna go ahead and hit play and let's go ahead and test out essentials now once the game opens this is minecraft now we have a bunch of different menus we could log in with our essential account sometimes you don't even have to log in you could host the world have your friends join once you host this world again they are going to need to have essentials installed as well they won't be able to join you with just vanilla minecraft and if you want to prevent all of that just use the first link in the description to create a server with apex hosting i'm gonna go ahead and launch a quick world in here but this is pretty much here. You could invite your friends. You need to add them though. And then you could host that world, have your friends join you. And that's essential 1.21.4. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye-bye.